What's going on YouTube? So as you probably know, the MDX has long been the best-selling luxury three-row crossover. And last year, Acura fully redesigned this popular model from the ground up. It continues to be a leader mixing style and value, and also offers welcome relief when looking at the price tag of some of its competitors. So let's go ahead and dive right into this review and see if this is the luxury three-row crossover for you. Now, like I mentioned in the introduction, the MDX was just fully redesigned last year. So as you'd expect, you are going to see that same design language continue on for 2023, although there are a couple changes that we will point out not related to design later on in the video. But in terms of what we're seeing up here in the front, this is going to be the latest and greatest Acura design language. This is their diamond pentagon grill with a very large Acura emblem right there in the middle and these kind of shapes that come out from it. We have the A-Spec today. That's gonna to be the uh, more aggressive design model. And with that is going to come a black finish around the grill itself. Um, normally it would be a chrome finish. And that of course looks very stealthy with this overall black um, model that we have today. Now, as we come over here to the headlights, let's take a look at these again, the newest Acura design, full LED with the crystals. We also have their new signature chicane LED daytime running light. Turn signal below that. And then as we drop down to the lower areas, you're also going to find LED fog lamps on A-Spec and Advance. Now let's go ahead and talk next about our wheel options. So you do have a standard 19-inch alloy on the base MDX. However, everything at the technology level and above are going to come with 20-inch alloy wheels. They're all going to have their own unique finishes. And this, of course, being the A-Spec, we've got this shark gray finish, which I think looks quite nice. Now, you can get a 21-inch alloy on the top performance Type S model, but we're not going to talk about that model of the MDX in today's review. That's going to be saved for a separate review. Now, as we move on up here, we do have our A-Spec branding. And then in terms of our mirrors, we are going to have standard heating as well as standard blind spot monitoring built into the pillar. And if you go to the technology trim level or above, that's where you'll get power folding. All right, guys, so let's talk about some things going on here at the side of the Acura MDX. Now, in terms of the overall length of this vehicle, we're looking at 198.4 inches in overall length, which is a good size for the segment. It places it right in between something like a Volvo XC90 and an Audi Q7. Now, of course, it is going to be smaller than some of the larger German offerings like the GLS and X7. Now, as far as some of the design elements that you see going on with this A-Spec model, you're not going to notice a lot of them because this is a fully blacked out version, but this would be black uh, regardless of the exterior color as well as your window surrounds. Um, so it would have a kind of a nice contrasty look, or you can just murder it out fully black like this particular model has done. Now, I do want to point out no roof rails on any MDX besides for the advanced model. So you have to go to that top end trim level to get the roof rails. And then working our way around to the rear design of the MDX, nothing in terms of the overall aesthetic is going to be changed for 2023, which is certainly a good thing because this MDX has been a very good looking vehicle for the last year. Uh, I'm a big fan of the overall design and really it just nails the overall classy and kind of athletic look really well. So in terms of some of the overall design elements, we have our rear wiper. It is exposed. I, it might look better if it was hidden up underneath of the wiper, but or underneath of the spoiler. And then if we look, down we do have our Acura branding and then our taillights are going to be some of my favorite taillights within the entire segment. These are the LED chicane design. So every element in here is going to be full LED. We have our amber turn signal, nice bright LED reverse light as well. Then if we drop down to the lower areas, you will notice most of this is going to be finished in a nice body color. You do have a little bit of matte plastic down here in the lower diffuser area. All MDXs are going to have the nice trapezoidal exhaust outlets that are exposed really like that. It's not fake unlike someone like the Audi Q7. And then as far as your tow rating, you're looking at 3,500 pounds for front drive or 5,000 pounds for all wheel drive. All right, guys, and now it's time to talk about your warranty and safety information for this MDX. Now for the warranty information, you are going to have an update for 2023. So I want to go ahead and cover that first. 
So you're looking at Acura's signature warranty of four year, 50,000 mile basic warranty, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. And what's new for 2023 is that they are also including two years and 24,000 miles of complimentary maintenance, which is certainly welcome on a luxury vehicle because a lot in this segment have probably pretty expensive maintenance. So that's nice that you do have that included for 2023. Now, in regards to your safety systems, we do have Acura Signature Safety Suite, and that's gonna be standard on every single MDX. So that's gonna be Ford Emergency Braking with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, auto high beams, as well as adaptive cruise control, all included as standard equipment. Additionally, if you go for the technology model and above, that will also include front and rear uh, low speed braking. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the exterior design of this 2023 Acura MDX on the outside. Of course, it is a gorgeous vehicle, but there's a red interior waiting for you. So let's go ahead and check that out. So as we walk up to the 2023 MDX, you will continue to find a smart entry system as standard equipment. Now, as far as the differences here, you will have remote start on the key fob only on the top end advanced trim level. So as you can see, we don't have it here on the A-Spec. However, what is new for 2023 is the Acura Link remote services are now included complimentary for three years. So that means you will have the ability to remote start all MDXs via the application for that three year period. Now, in terms of getting inside the vehicle itself, just grab behind the handle. When you do, it will electrically fold the mirrors outward. And there's a nice look at this beautiful red interior before I go ahead and climb inside. Now, before we dig into all the interior deets, let's first talk about our interior color and material selection. So only the base MDX will come with leatherette seats. Once you get up to the technology or the advanced trim level, that's going to get you premium Milano leather. Now, here on the A-Spec version, that also comes with the premium Milano leather. But as you can see, we've got the suede insert that runs down the middle, finished in the color contrast black. Um, so you can get a full black seat or you can get the red seats that you see here today for the color choices on the A-Spec specifically. Like I said, really, really nice high quality leather seats. I love the way these look. I love the color contrast piping, uh, just really phenomenal looking, very sporty um, and overall just a really nice aesthetic. Now, as far as the seats themselves, these are going to be 12 way power adjusting on every MDX, except for that top end advance, which is going to have the 16 way power adjustments instead. And let's go ahead and talk about the cabin as a whole in terms of the materials. Now, of course, as a model that was fully redesigned just last year, one of the biggest updates um, or best improvements rather was the material quality. Things have really taken a step up scale. You have a lot of real leather all through the armrest area. Here on the A-Spec, we have the genuine brushed aluminum that runs through here, really like this. You do get an open pour wood on the top end advanced model. It's gonna be padded along the top. As we go to the upper dashboard, all this is actually gonna be finished in a leatherette with a double color contrast stitching detail that runs through there. You have more of that genuine aluminum that runs right through there. You've got the piano black, and then right over on that side, you've got a lot of the red leather that runs down the center console for your knee to rest against. Of course, as you would expect from an Acura, everything is going to fit together very, very well and feel super solid. Now to start up the MDX, put your foot on the brake and press the aluminum button. Now, right after the startup, you will be greeted with a large 12.3 inch full digital gauge cluster. Uh, if you remember, this was actually the first in the Acura lineup to have a full digital gauge cluster. And as you can see, it is a very nice and vivid looking display. You can uh, also change the information, of course. And when you change drive modes, the design itself will change as well. Now, in addition to that, if you had the fully loaded advanced model, that would also throw in a head up display. Now, as we pull back to the steering wheel, of course, we've got the latest Acura design. We have a very nice A-spec steering wheel with the flat bottom, color contrast stitching, perforated leather on the outside edges, and a nice thick rim. Feels really good in the hand. As far as the wheel itself, it is going to be power adjusting, actually, on every single MDX, which I was surprised to see. 
However, if you want steering wheel heating, that will require going for the advanced trim. But let's go ahead and turn over to our interior storage because no matter how sporty the design is, at the end of the day, this is a family crossover first and foremost. So underneath our center console here, we've got a little rubber lined area for your valuable goods. And then this is our general console. As you can see, nice and large, goes down deep, and we do have a rubber lining at the bottom. And of course, as expensive as everything is these days, we've got to see how many coupons we can fit in here. Takes up that stack very easily. We could do at least twice as many, so that's good to fight inflation. Now over to the side of that, we've got our two cup holders. We also have a very large wireless phone charging pad. You can almost charge like a seven inch tablet here. This is gonna be standard on every MDX. And then you have a little storage area up there in the front, which is next to your two additional USB ports. Now let's come on back here to the shifter. As you can tell, we do have the latest electronic design. Just gonna press the D for drive, press it again for sport mode, and you do have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. For reverse, pull back on the trigger. And when you do, you will be greeted with a standard backup camera across every single model. As you can see, we do have active trajectory on board as well, but we don't have a 360 camera. That's gonna be reserved for just the advanced trim level. Then for park, of course, just press the P. Right next to that is your brake hold and your electronic parking brakes on the other side of the steering wheel. Now coming back down to the console itself, right in front of this hand rest is your Acura True Touchpad controller. This is how you control the infotainment system itself, which I'll talk about in just a second. And then off to the right side of that is your volume knob. So this is gonna control two different systems, or excuse me, three different sound systems, nine speakers, 12 speakers, or when you get to the A-Spec or the Advanced, the six speaker ELS 3D studio sound system. That's what we have, so let's go ahead and give it a sample. Wow guys, yeah, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This new ELS sound system in the MDX is absolutely phenomenal. I love the sound. It's so crisp, so high quality, great bass. Um, you know, just really overall a fantastic sound system. Plus, absolutely love these beautiful metal speaker grills that are very large there on the door trim. All right, so let's move above that to the main part of the console, finished inside of this p black trim is gonna be your standard three zone automatic climate controls. You have these very nice uh, metal toggles here to adjust your temperature up and down. You can also control the rear settings from here or do it in the back. And then as far as the seats, these are gonna be three stage heated as well as three stage ventilated. So the heating is gonna be standard. Ventilated seats are gonna be on both the A-Spec and the Advance, both of which are gonna be automatic as well. So it sinks in with the overall climate system. And let's take a look at our infotainment system. So like I was talking about earlier, the main thing that someone should know about this system is that it is not a touchscreen. Uh, you will use that control knob down there and it's Acura's true touch interface. So what that means is you're using a one-to-one -one relationship. So the place that you touch on the uh, pad is going to be representative of the exact place you touch on the screen virtually. Um, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. That being said, you definitely can get used to it. It just requires thinking about it a little differently than a trackpad on a laptop. Now, as far as the display, this is gonna be a 12.3 inch display. This is standard on every version of the MDX. So long as you get the technology or above, that's going to give you a built-in navigation system. The other very important thing to you guys is probably uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both of those are standard equipment and both of them are wireless. Now rising above that, we do have a auto dimming mirror with three Homelink Universal remotes. That's gonna be standard on every MDX. And also standard on every MDX is this large panoramic sunroof. As you can see, it goes all the way back to the second row there, and this front panel does open up. 
Well guys, I've always loved the Acura MDX's rear seat because this is just a very comfortable, spacious, and luxurious place to spend time. So of course, none of that is gonna change for 2023. It's coming off of an all new design last year. So let's go ahead and just talk about what you're gonna get if you go for an MDX. As far as the space is concerned, you're looking at 38 and a half inches of rear legroom, 38.1 inches of headroom, which does place it right on par with its main competition, Audi Q7. Uh, it is on par with the current gen Lexus RX, although we don't have space figures for the upcoming 2023, which will be out in just a little bit. But overall, the space is really good. Also, the seats can slide forward and back as well as recline. So definitely a lot of comfort going on here. Now, as far as the features, let's turn our attention towards that. We have a nice piano black area right here. Uh, every MDX is going to have climate controls as standard equipment, so you can adjust your temperature here in the back independent from the front. If we drop below that, we do have vents integrated nicely below that. They are big enough that you can definitely feel it from the passenger side. And then if you open up the connections down below, we have a 12 volt outlet. We have two charging USB ports. Um, this would be a household style outlet on the higher end MDXs. And you would also have heated rear seats if you go for the advanced model. It's not included for this A-Spec. Now, I do want to mention this seat here in the middle because this is a special seat. If you haven't seen it in previous, the 2022 MDX review, um, this is the multi-function seat. So it can do a lot of different things. As you can see right now, you have the bench seating, which actually it looks quite comfortable for anyone sitting here. Um, you can also just pull this little lever right here. And when you pull that, that will fold this middle seat down give you a nice armrest. You have cup holders inside of here. We have this little storage cubby, so you could definitely fit some coupons back here as well. And then if we fold it up, you do also have the functionality to completely remove this middle seat and make captain's chairs in the back. So if you're one of those people that you want to keep your kids from fighting one another and you need that space in between, you can remove it completely just to do the captain's chair setup. Now turning towards the door trim, we do have a nice one. Uh, it's going to have a soft touch plastic on the upper part, some silver trim in the middle, nice leather wrapping on all the armrest portion, plus we have bottle holders as well as that in the bottom. And then the sun uh, shade is going to be included on the vast majority of MDX models. Now, most people buy an MDX because you do need to use that third row. So let's go ahead and check out what you're gonna get back here. Hands down, one of my favorite systems to get into the third row because they have made it so easy. You just press this button right here, that folds the seat forward and kind of electrically slides it out of the way and it just makes for super easy entry into the third row, which a lot of uh, competitors don't do quite as easily. Now, hopping back here. You are gonna find a, uh, a good amount of space. It's not an incredible amount of space. It's of course not like a l large luxury three row SUV, but um, you are gonna have 29 inches of rear leg room back here, 36 inches of headroom. That does place it right on par with Audi Q7, its main rival. Uh, we'll see about an RXL or whatever in the future for that next generation. Um, but it's pretty decent amount of space. You could definitely fit two people back here comfortably. Um, the one thing I will say is that the thigh support is a little bit lacking, but my feet can slide up underneath the seat, so I'm pretty comfortable there. And I am disappointed that Acura is not including any vents back here. So if it's a really hot day, you might be a little toasty in the third row. However, they do have cup holders on each side, no USB ports though. Now walking up to the MDX's tailgate, you will have a standard power opening tailgate. Hands-free functions are gonna be included if you go for that top end advance MDX model. So in order to open it, you just press the button under the lid for this A-Spec. And then as far as the space is concerned for the MDX, you're gonna have a good amount of space. Um, it's not crazy amount, but it is pretty solid. We're looking at 16 cubic feet of cargo capacity behind the third row. That's definitely enough to put most what you would need for like a weekend trip or whatnot. If you wanna fold the seats down, that's gonna expand it up to 39 cubic feet. And as a maximum, you're looking at 74 cubic feet of cargo capacity, right on par with what you're gonna get out of like an Audi Q7. Um, so definitely pretty good space figures. Now, as far as some of the finishings that Acura has put back here, we have a 12 volt power outlet here on the left side. For the third row itself, the folding abilities, no power folding third row is offered on any MDX. So you will have to manually fold them. That said, as you can see, it's super easy. They've made it really quite easy to fold it up and down. So I don't really think you're gonna have many problems with that. Um, you will have to fold the second row from the second row area because there are no handles back here. Um, and then if we lift up the cargo floor, 
there's a little bit of additional space, actually quite a bit of additional space down here. You could definitely fit a few things that you want hidden from view. And there is a spare tire up underneath of that. Standard power adjusting passenger seat. You do have quite a lot of ways of adjustment. I'm also a big fan of just the way these feel. These feel really very premium. You also have the power lumbar support as well. And in addition to that, guys, we have three-person memory seating even here on the passenger side. That's a really nice bougie touch that really we only see in a lot of the German rivals. Now, in addition to that, you do have a 12-volt outlet here on the left side by my left knee. And then if we open up the glove box, really nice glove box, guys. We have a nice felt lining inside. It's super nicely dampened. And then I want to point out it's also wrapped in that nice red leather, so it feels very, very nice. Today's coupon of the day, let's see, we want to go to Burger King, uh, $3 eight-piece chicken nuggets. That sounds pretty okay about now, and you can fit those in perfectly fine. No issues in the MDX. Now up top, we have a sun visor, we have some lighting as well as a mirror. We can also detach it and extend it out. Here we are going up to 60 miles per hour with the MDX. Of course, we also were accelerating up a pretty steep hill there for reference, but as you can see, it handles it very nicely. Um, this, of course, has that classic 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine, 290 horsepower, 267 pound feet of torque. Um, really just a very refined engine on board. Um, plenty of power, of course, but I think you know, the main thing is just that refined, smooth power delivery. Right. Uh, it really makes it pretty effortless, effortless to get this vehicle up to speed. Right, and it's really just a nice motor that is standard equipment. You know, no turbo four-cylinder on the lower-end models or, or whatnot. You just get this straight V6 engine as the base motor. Now, of course, there is the Type S, which we did mention. It's going to be covered in a separate review, so you don't have to worry about that. But Type S has a more powerful motor if this is not enough power for you. I'd say that this is plenty for most people, though. Yeah, and the uh, engine makes a nice sound, too. It's got a good right. raspy, meaty type of note to it. Let's talk about the other aspects of the powertrain. So you've got a 10 speed automatic transmission that of course is very important because of the performance of this model. Uh, they in-house developed this 10 speed. They use it in a lot of their products and it's a very good transmission. Never really feels confused or anything like that. The other aspect of course for an Acura, you, you always gotta talk about super handling all wheel drive because that's an important aspect. Um, and with that, of course, we've got that on today's example. The newest generation of that can send up to 70% of the power to the rear. Um, so that kind of gives you a little bit of a sportier dynamic than before. Although I will say, might as well go ahead and talk about this. Even though we have the A-Spec, A-Spec is more of a cosmetic thing. Right. So behind the wheel, you're not going to notice anything that's particularly different from like a technology or an advance, which we both uh, already have driven in uh, last year. You know, it's still going to be light steering. Um, you have pretty good handling response, but, you know, very comfort oriented overall. If you want the actual performance, type S. Yeah, and let's just go ahead and talk about your overall comfort level since he was mentioning that. I think that's, like he said, the most important part about an MDX is just the comfort side of things. And it does such a phenomenal job, as you would expect from any MDX. It just soaks up the bumps. The suspension just handles everything so so nicely. The seats are incredibly comfortable. It's also quiet inside of the cabin and we'll get a sound level reading going 55 once we clear out of the traffic a little bit in this review, but it's really just does a good job and you'll see that in action here. Right, it just soaks up the bumps so well. Now that right there was the auto start stop system engaging. It is standard equipment. Um, it's relatively smooth. It's not the best on the market, but it's not too bad. Of course, you can turn it off if you don't like it with that button right there.
And since we were talking about the auto start stop, let's go ahead and talk about the fuel economy. So for the front wheel drive models, you're looking at 1926-22. Uh, all wheel drive is gonna drop that by one to 21 combined. And now that we're up to speed, we'll go ahead and get that sun level reading I was talking about. All right, wow, 53.9 decibels. Really good, guys. If you follow our reviews, you'll know that a lot of luxury cars are in the like 54, reading. 55 range. That's even lower than that. Um, so really impressive sound level reading, and it just seems really quiet in here. Now let's go ahead and hop into something you're probably curious about, our airball and slam dunk, a signature element we do in all of our car confections reviews, something that we really like, something that maybe you could see a little bit of an improvement. So for today's slam dunk, I think that's gonna be the overall value. I'll mention the pricing in just a little bit, but this has a lot of value, a lot of luxury. It just really does a lot well for that price tag compared to, especially to its rivals. Right, and in terms of the air ball, what it's going to be today is the fact that the A-Spec cannot get some of those extra luxury features that the advanced model has. Um, Acura actually fixed this on the RDX um, with the 2022 model year by giving you an A-Spec advance that combined both <laughs> of those packages together. And I want that to be added here to the MDX because this exterior design and the red interior is really, really nice. This is what I would want. But you'd be right. really torn because you might want something like the 360 camera, for example. So I really want to be able to get the best of both worlds. And let's go ahead and discuss the pricing for the MDX. So for 2023, uh, we're going to have about a two to $3,000 increase depending on the trim level, uh, which is a little bit of a price leap. Of course, inflation is something <laughs> to consider there. Um, but as far as the base model, it's gonna start at $49,050. Technology is gonna be $53,750. A-Spec, uh, do keep in mind, does come standard with all-wheel drive. The A-Spec and the Advance are all-wheel drive exclusive. $59,450 and the Advance is gonna be $63,000 starting. Now this tester, when we add the destination and handling charge, we're looking at, of 1195, we're looking at 61145. But overall, we were very impressed by this next generation MDX last year, and we certainly continue to be for the 2023 model year. This really is just a very strong offering. Acura did a great job of taking, I think, all the aspects that the MDX has always been known for and been really strong at, and just really thoroughly modernizing things, making things very stylish, very capable, very family friendly, a lot of thoughtful features, and all for a good value. Well guys, thanks so much for watching this in-depth review of the 2023 Acura MDX A-Spec. If you found this video helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us out and helps us to get cooler cars to you all by giving us just access to those vehicles. So please go ahead and do that. Tell a friend, tell a family member. Also follow us on TikTok and Instagram, and we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies. Some of your features, we have an exposed rear wiper right here, Acura branding here in the middle, and then off to the side, we do have our LED taillights. For heaven's sakes, what is he 